So for me, lighting is the most important thing when it comes to filmmaking and video production. So today we're going to be talking about some budget lights that are under $130. Let's get it. So today we're talking about the Viltrox um, bicolor lights. They are 10 inch circle lights. Um, you get three in this kit and this costs for like around 125 from the, me recording this video. So we're gonna see if these lights are any good and if they can compete with my Amaran 200D and my Godox lights. But you get three in the kit now. The lights that I'm using now, oh man, uh, I think the Amaran is like $2.99 and this kit was like three something. So yeah, you, but I can't really compare it with these lights because they're A, they're wireless and they are bike and they're RGBW. Uh, but these are the lights right here. They're in this plastic, let me get these open. Oh. So I haven't done any real research. I mean, I've used these lights a long time ago, their older version, and they were, um, from my experience from using the older, the older model ones, they were the rectangle ones, the square, whatever. They weren't that bright. And um, you had to really take all three of them and blast it in order to get like a good exposure if you wanted to, you know, if you didn't have a really fast lens. But this is the back of it, and this is the front. Um, and you can use batteries also. So if you want to control them for batteries, that's a, that's a huge plus right there. So I'm gonna, um, get these out. So on the top, you get all the lights and on the bottom, flip this over. It comes with light stands also. Not too many lights come with light stands. So that is a major thing. So these are all the stands. I don't know if these are any like good quality stands or not. I mean, they feel like your standard cheap stands, I guess, it's whatever. But, I mean, you can probably get away with using these as a hair light or backlight. Um, but you got three of them, but we're gonna do a three-point lighting setup and see if we can actually use these for like interviews or whatever. So I'm gonna get that set up and we'll be right back. So I just have one light set up and it's right here out of frame. I did not change any of the um, settings on the camera. I left everything the same. Um, I know my Amran is is usually at 10% when it's right here. And that's like the camera settings that I like that I want with the native ISO, the aperture that I like and the uh, shutter speed on the, on the Sony. Um, I have to have my light set to like 10% because that's a massive light and it's bright. And I can tell off that like uh, it's a softer light source because I have a light dome on it. Now these lights don't seem that easy to uh, modify. Um, the only, the biggest downfall is modifying your lights. I would, in order for me to really modify it, I would have to get like um, a diffuser or something and put it on the stand. So that's another stand that I have to use. And then I'm gonna have to like probably blast another light to go with it to, you know, just to compensate for losing a couple stops of light. Cause this is at 100%. And I don't, I can't tell if it's exposed or not, but we about to find out. Okay, so I just looked at the footage and it is, I mean, it's not a terrible light. Again, I've made these work before, um, but. From my experience, these lights don't give you that soft look you're going for, um, cause it's not it's not a big light source. And again, if you wanna, and when you start modifying lights, you start to lose a lot of that light. So this is why they say get a really bright light and turn it down. Um, because if you have a super bright light, you can do so much with that bright light. You can bounce it and diffuse it and make it as soft as you want and do so much with a bright light. Um, but if you're on a budget, then you can definitely get started with these. I added another one over here just to, you know, soften up that harsh shadow that was on this side of my uh, face. But, um, but yeah, if you usually 
what you can do is you get one right here as your key light, one over here, and then one behind you. Um, you can make those work, honestly. Um, but definitely, if you're on a budget, you can start with these budget lights. Um, if you want something more professional, then I definitely recommend you go with the Godox SL60W. That was my first cob light that I bought, and that has been a beast of a light for at least two, three years now. And I still use it for a lot of stuff. I use it with my Amaran 200D and my other lights that I have, but I definitely recommend that you at least start with something. Um, I know these are in the same class as your newer light panels. Uh, but again, if you get lights, just make sure you can modify those lights and make it soft, but it all depends on what you're doing. I know this isn't a super detailed video, but I'm just showing you what you can do with cheap lights and yeah. So if this video was helpful, then smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on, the, turn on the notification bell. I feel like a robot. I've been saying this every day. Y'all get the point, man. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.